Let's talk about the Brisbane property market. Now, historically, the Brisbane property market has performed about on par with Sydney and Melbourne, and a little bit ahead of Perth, Adelaide, and Hobart. Of course, in the last few years, Melbourne and Sydney have streaked ahead of the rest of the country, and that includes Brisbane. During that time, Brisbane has experienced solid but not spectacular growth in detached houses of between 20 to 30%. It is suffering a little bit of a hangover from the mining boom, and job creation hasn't been that strong, which has held down property prices uh, in the capital. Now, this is also applied to rental yields. They are still stronger than Melbourne and Sydney, but they're not as strong as they traditionally have been. The strongest market in Brisbane is the detached house market. Why is that? Because most people still want to buy a, uh, a house and live in a house, and at the moment, supply of those kind of properties is scarce. So. Uh, the best markets at the moment are sitting in that middle ring, say 10 to 20 kilometers out from Brisbane, between the $500 to $600,000 mark. There's not much supply and there's plenty of demand in these markets, which is causing prices to rise and rents to remain pretty strong. The townhouse market in Brisbane isn't quite as strong as the house market, uh, and that's mainly due to the apartment glut in Brisbane at the moment. So prices and rents are holding, but they're not increasing a lot uh, as we speak. Now, the kind of townhouses that are most in demand from buyers are those in small complexes, in good suburbs, with large open designs. So more house style designs in terms of the space you get. And that's what I'd recommend in the townhouse market. In summary, Brisbane's sitting in a pretty good position at the moment. It's got many of the same lifestyle and job opportunities that Sydney and Melbourne do. But at the moment, the price differential between houses in Sydney and Melbourne and houses in Brisbane is not justifiable and I don't think is sustainable. So I expect to see steady growth uh, in Brisbane over the coming years, while Sydney and Melbourne start to come off the boil. If you'd like any further advice about the Brisbane property market, please feel free to book in a consultation with me at a time of your choosing.